Flow 800 is um, a unique tool during bypass surgery. It shows us um, in one setting bypass patency, gives us an idea about qualitative flow, not only patency but how much flow is delivered through the bypass. It helps us to identify recipient vessels and it gives us some idea about the perfusion situation of the brain following the bypass. For example, we can identify patients that are hyperperfused or that have some ischemic areas. So this is really a unique situation that Flow 800 is providing to the bypass surgeon. Number two I would give um, as a um, convincing argument in favor of Flow 800 to use it during AVM surgery. It not only gives nice images, but it really helps us to better understand the angular architecture when we perform the dissection, helps us to identify feeding and draining vessels, and at the end of the surgery, it helps us also to um, get an idea about whether the normal brain is hyperperfused, whether there's some kind of perfusion pressure breakthrough that is often discussed in the setting of AVM surgery. Flow 800 is an important um, visualization analysis tool in AVM surgery. Um, because it helps us very rapidly to understand the hemodynamics behind an AVM. We can rapidly identify the feeders, we can rapidly identify the drainers, and then while we're doing surgery, there is a way of, 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 of staged um, assessment of how good or how bad perfusion is in the brain. I've been working with Flow 800 for several years now, and it's a good adjunct to the infrared 800 actually during vascular surgery. Um, I think it's qu become quite indispensable. When it comes to complicated vascular cases like AVM, we needed something more than just seeing blood flow in black and white. Flow 800 gives us a color map, diagram, and comparison which quantitatively visualize flow dynamic. Color map visualizes where feeders and drainers are in colors while we used to identify those vessels based on our assumption and experiences. This is real beneficial for us. So the purpose of Flow 800 to me is to provide a geographic sense of the flow, a qualitative sense of is there more flow or less flow than there was before I clipped an aneurysm, performed a bypass, took out an AVM? Uh, that kind of information is really not available any other way. In AVM surgery, I have cases where branches coming in, it wasn't apparent what branches were feeding the AVM or not. Uh, you can put a temporary clip on one of those branches, for instance, and see what happens downstream. Uh, so I think it can make the difference between saving brain and losing brain, and that's, uh, that's a good reason to use it. Uh, e even for me, as an experienced user, I was somewhat skeptical uh, that uh, there would be able to be a, a discernible difference. But in fact, if you look at the flow, if you set uh, dots particularly along a vessel, for instance, it is able to pick up things that your eye cannot pick up. So it, it, it does definitely add information. It adds information that you can't get by watching the video again and again and again. with the ICG technique, uh, you could just uh, evaluate vessel patency and you have no information about the flow inside the vessel. You are able to uh, visualize and to uh, calculate in a semi-quantitative manner the flow inside the vessel exposed during the craniotomy. Uh, you have also the possibility to create uh, color maps with uh, uh, colors uh, that are um, visualizing the vessel according to flow velocities. In this way, you can decide whether or not the vein can be sacrificed without uh, consequences for the patients. And we have done so in uh, many cases now, and uh, we know that it's a safe technique that can be very useful for uh, uh, neurosurgeons.